there are formats that are just better for certain applications. For example, IoT data is very well stored in an append-only format. Transactional data definitely belongs into Postgres. Uh, other data may belong into Hadoop. So they really need to think about the nature of the data and how to take advantage of the open source databases to support digital transformation. EDB Postgres benefits polyglot environments in a few important ways. Not only do we bring core technology that meets that, you know, that underpinning of requirements around database and data management, but we also add things to EDB Postgres that allow them to take that same technology and interoperate it in this polyglot persistence world that they currently live in. EDB Postgres brings customers foreign data wrappers, which are really important tools to integrate data that comes in different formats, and it provides JSONB and key value pair so that you can also represent data inside Postgres in different formats. And we use that same technology to also interoperate with the, the world of Hadoop where you know larger scale um, data analytics are handled. They can integrate their data much, much faster. They can get to an analytic results uh, in, in a very short time. The core Postgres database itself, in addition to operating as the database of choice for the transactional processing, can also operate in the areas of NoSQL in support of document database requirements or can exist in the context of edge capture that we often see. So Postgres itself plays a bigger role in that polyglot equation. We will expect more new data types inside Postgres. We will expect much faster integration of the data. So generally the idea of using Postgres as an integrative data platform in a polyglot data, data world is going to become even much more accessible. So we've really tried to not only build additional capability into Postgres, so that it can operate more broadly in Polyglot, but also put in place the right data adapters and technologies to make that work as well. We really put them in a position to create innovation and to, and to fully engage in digital transformation.